On this episode of China Uncensored, China doesn't care about your views on race. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Boy, the whole world is envious of China and Africa's good relationship. At least, that's what my favorite state-run media, The Global Times, says. I wonder if they know Africa is a continent and not a country. You see, China was a victim of European colonialism, too. They get it. That's why any relationship with China will be one of win-win cooperation. China has been building roads, railroads, and ports in Africa. Why, they even built the new African Union building. Now, some obviously jealous Western powers are trying to say, oh, those infrastructure projects are creating huge debt. Oh, you're giving the construction jobs mostly to Chinese workers and not to locals. Oh, you bugged the African Union building and inserted a back door into its computer network. Some have even dared to suggest that China might be some type of colonial power. Look, sure the Chinese regime is stripping African countries of natural resources. Sure, these countries are getting an unfair deal on those construction projects. Sure, the occasional Chinese company has been accused of stealing water from locals. But China will never repeat the kinds of mistakes made in the past by people from the West. Anyway, here's some blackface from the annual CCTV Spring Festival Gala. <laughs> yes, thumbs up from the world's people. Now this may be shocking to you, but the mother in that skit was actually not African. She was a Chinese woman in blackface. Oh, and she was followed around by an African man dressed as a giant monkey, which is totally normal in Africa. All this hasn't been received very well. That skit was set in Kenya and has the actress in blackface saying things like, China has done so much for Africa, and I love Chinese people, I love China. Strange that they had to pay someone to say that. Now to be fair, China has a very different history of race relations than, say, the United States. But this is not the first time China has been nailed for being a tad racially insensitive towards Africans. This ad for a Chinese laundry detergent shows a black guy taking the Tide Pod challenge, then being shoved into a washing machine and emerging as a nice Chinese man. And one museum featured photos of black people alongside the animals they supposedly look like. What makes the CCTV gala different, though, is the amount of thought that went into this. This is the biggest propaganda showcase of the year. 800 million people watch it. It's quite literally the government of China putting on a show. And it goes through countless rounds of vetting by Chinese censors. This didn't just accidentally happen. A lot of people had to look at this and say, yep, that's a good idea. This will really get a thumbs up from the world's people. Meanwhile, yet another person has fallen victim to the crime of hurting the feelings of the Chinese people. This time, Chinese model Liu Wen. Was her sin worse than blackface? Oh, way worse. On Instagram, she wished her fans a happy Lunar New Year. She was supposed to say happy Chinese New Year. Even though it's celebrated throughout Asia as the Lunar New Year, you should only refer to it as the Chinese New Year. Some more patriotic Chinese netizens freaked out. One Chinese user wrote on Instagram, if you want to become Vietnamese so badly, get out and don't come back to China. Does that make sense? Obviously not. Instagram is banned in China. How did that person get access? Anyway, Mono Leo One has now corrected her grave mistake of thinking that not all Asians are Chinese. So what do you think of the blackface on the Lunar New Year Gala? I mean Chinese New Year Gala. I mean Spring Festival Gala. Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time. Well, the Chinese Communist Party is certainly rotten, but you know what never goes bad? Food from Thrive Life. 
Thrive Live sells freeze-dried meals that stay fresh. And if you order through the link in the description below, China Uncensored gets a cut. I wouldn't ask you to eat their food if I didn't also personally love it. So support your belly and China Uncensored by buying some delicious food from Thrive Life. The link is below.